Hi guys, it's Matt here from heypress3010.co.uk and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make snow in Cinema 4D. So for this you'll need the Magic Snow plugin, which is free. So if you go to the link in the description, there's a tutorial and the link to download the plugin. So once you've done that, uh, you want to head into Cinema 4D and this is the sort of thing that you can make. And obviously you can make it a lot more realistic and have it fall on roofs and stuff like that in animations. But this is just a basic sample. So I'll delete these and start again. Um, you want to create an object, whatever, I'll just use a cube for this. And you want to go to plugins and select magic snow. So you'll see it brings up a box which is an emitter, which will emit the snow. And I'll go through all of the settings. So if you click play, it'll obviously start snowing down, but you'll notice that nothing actually falls on the cube. So to make it fall, you have to drag the cube into the collision box, which acts as a collider body. And you'll see the snow slowly starts to land. Um, the quality of the snow depends on this slider, so you can have it very low poly, or you can have it the highest quality, which makes it more realistic. Um, another setting that makes it more realistic is self-collision. So you might want to have that checked for your final render. Um, the X and Y size is actually the size of the emitter. So you can make it more narrow or wider. So these are just to control the size. Uh, the birth rate is the amount of snow that comes out of the emitter. So you see if it's on 10 at the moment, we'll do 100. You'll see there's a lot more snow. And to increase the rate of downfall, and that's speed. So you see it comes down a lot faster. Uh, wind just makes it more of a blizzard, makes it slightly more realistic. And mental. Uh, the start and stop is if you want a delayed start. So you'll see here, if I press play, it won't start until 50 frames. Which could be useful in an animation. And seeds, you don't really need to touch this. This is to uh, like randomize the downfall. And enable is just as simple as it sounds, just to be able to turn on and off the snow. And once you've got the amount of snow that you want, you can pause it and press keep the snow. And then you can delete the plugin. And there you go. You have the snow on top of whatever object it is. So I hope this explained the whole plugin. If you have any questions, just post them in the uh, comment box. And uh, yeah, so as you can see around the video now, some of my older tutorials, you can look at them or go on my website where there's a lot more in-detail tutorials. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.